Uh, hello, everyone. It is the weekend, Saturday, March 19, 2022. I am Doug. Time for the Daily Quartal. You know what? This weekend, uh, we've had a lot of fun trying different strategies that you, uh, the viewers, have suggested. Uh, I think we're going to do Doug's Choice this weekend and just kind of freestyle it. I'm just feeling a little loosey-goosey. Uh, oh, well, you know what? Hmm. Let's try my favorite starting word, canoe, today and just go from there. Uh, canoe gets us a little bit uh, everywhere except a third puzzle. Uh, let's see. Let's just come up with a second word. Uh, how about the word plum? That gets us a good amount of evaluation. Uh, again, this is me just freestyling it today. Plum. Okay, that didn't give us a whole heck of a lot to work with. Uh, let's try a third uh, how about the word right? Because that gets us a lot of very key evaluation. Uh, let's try right. Okay, now we got to start looking at our puzzles. Well, we do, but we don't have anything on any of them that really jumps out at me. So, ooh, boy. Hmm. I guess we maybe have to go with a fourth word. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I, want, I definitely want to see the D and the S. Uh, I would like to see at least one other good thing as well. Uh, how about, um, let's see, what can I come up with that gets, uh, I mean, we could try sword. Sword gets more insight. Uh, well, the problem with that is we know that there's no R or, or O anywhere, so that actually isn't smart. Um, uh, there's a lot of presence of A... There's C, A, and N. Uh, if I do candy, uh, that, well, no, because we've already looked at canoe, so that gets me nothing. Uh, okay, we don't want to do that. Uh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's see here. How about uh, the if I do funds... Uh, I can at least get a little bit of help with the U on the third puzzle, and I would get FDS evaluated. So maybe we're going to do funds. Uh, I certainly hope that this gets us some insight. We're going to need it. Okay, got us a little. Let's take a look at... Uh, let's take a look at the second puzzle. We have four of the letters. It ends with an E. We have uh, we've evaluated all the vowels. Uh, so this is probably a case of a double E, and that tells me seen is the most likely uh, solve. So we're going to try seen. In fact, it is. That's great. And now let's jump right over to the first puzzle. So we have S L N. Uh, we have uh, an I in there as well. I'm certain it's not at the end, so that means S-L-I-N. Uh, G has been evaluated. It's not it. Uh, so let's see. Um, that means that it could be slink. Uh, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Uh, slink. Yeah, and I need it to be right, because if it's not, then I have no more, like, free guesses, so to speak. Um, yeah. Indeed. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's jump over to the fourth puzzle. We have four of the letters. S-A-C-H, the S in the correct position in the first. Uh, and what immediately jumps out at me is the word shack, uh, S-H-A-C-K. I'm feeling very confident that I'm just going to go and put that in. And that's, in fact, correct. And that was fantastic for us because, as you can see here, now we did solve the first puzzle with that. Uh, that confirmed my suspicion in slink, S-L-I-N-K. So that was super fortuitous. And that leaves us with the third puzzle. We get two guesses. Uh, we have uh, U and G in the second and third position, respectively, and there's a B somewhere else not in the fifth position. It's obviously not going to be in the fourth, which means it's in the first, so it's B-U-G something. Uh, we've evaluated all the vowels. 
but we do have a Y unevaluated. So now I I'm fairly confident here that we're going to be solving with buggy. Uh, so we ask the question that proverbial everyone at home, please make a drum roll noise right now. Uh, is it buggy? It is buggy. There we go. Uh, so there you go. A nice fun weekend puzzle. Uh, we got ourselves out of what I felt was a little bit of a jam, uh, but we got there in the end. So there you go. Folks, please uh, comment with your favorite uh, choral strategy words, whatever's on your mind. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed uh, watching the show. It helps us a lot. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more weekend chordal.